Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your April 23rd through the 30th, um, or whatever, yeah, I think the 30th, um, reading. Generally, my readings are love readings, but we will just see what comes up. This is for the sign of Taurus for the end of April. Can you believe it? It's the end of April. Keep in mind that this is Saturn retrograde has started. And that means that karma is at play. So if there has been some dirty deeds or good deeds, you know, it's it's a time of payback. So this is just something to be aware of. This is uh, in retrograde until September 3rd, April 17th till September 3rd. And it's, it's kind of, it's really about um, payback. Okay, good or bad. This is for the sign of Taurus. You guys are making some conscious changes to let something go. Something is being let go of that was very, very heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Big, huge release going on here. Oh. Something is really good with the Ace of Cups. So there's a new beginning in love, perhaps. This could even be self-love. Okay, so it looks like something has been released. And now there's some sort of new love. I'm trying to hold back a sneeze. Something has been stalled. Maybe you've been stalling on love. <laughs> Something has been stalled. Like there's been no forward movement. You could be stalling love still. I mean, well, something's going on here. Yeah, maybe you're not ready for a relationship. I'm not sure. Somebody, you know, with the Ten of Cups reversed, somebody may not be wanting to engage in a new relationship. Or there could be some relationships, pro relationship problems, or children could be moving away. That's what this somebody could be moving out of your home as well. Maybe you're afraid to let love in because of the past relationship problems, so that's why you're stalling. You get a ten on each side; they're both reversed. So I feel like somebody is is feeling pretty independent. There's some sort of cycles that are completing. Interesting. So you may be emotionally unavailable right now for love. And that's that's interesting because we have the Ace of Cups next to the Knight of Cups. It's like there's some dream, and this can signify a, a dying dream. There's a dream that has been released. Maybe it was an old love. I don't know. So there's some sort of romantic dream that is no longer perhaps being held on to. I'm not sure. You know, the hanged man. You guys are, are struggling to, to get through it. That's what it is. It's like you're probably accepting the struggle here. You could not. Maybe it's you guys are still resisting it, but you're being called to look at things from a new perspective and stop sacrificing your time and your yourself I think you guys are stalling you're stalling and you're holding on you're holding on to some something because this is stalling with the hangman the hangman it's like scared of change you know scared of attachment this is the hangman is the master of non-attachment so maybe you guys are, are feeling really good in your independence and you're really not wanting to be in a romantic partnership with somebody or you're thinking about it. Or somebody could be offering you this romance and you're really unsure. Yeah, you're being called to take a risk. Here we have the fool. Somebody is being called to take a risk and take a leap of faith. Okay? To start over. You have an a bit you have an option to start over, I think, in a new loving relationship, but you are probably stalling 
out of fear of the unknown. And I feel like you're, you're just scared to accept the changes that are happening in your life. It's almost like you are in limbo. You're in limbo right now. You want to, but you don't. I do, but I don't. Yes, it's paranoia. I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. I'm really scared. If, so I think I'll just keep procrastinating. I'm going to procrastinate with letting this new romance into my life. <clears throat> because... <coughs> I'm too scared. I'm too scared to get attached and be hurt again. <laughs> That's what it is. There's some paranoia. There is. I'm, I, I can't, I'm, I'm too worried about offering my heart just to get it broke. Hmm. Oh my God, another 10. Something, you know, 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion, completion. <coughs> A cycle is completing, okay? And this cycle is bringing you a new beginning in love. So either this cycle has completed or it is completing, okay? I feel like you've been betrayed, you've been stabbed in the back, you've been really hurt. And now you're resisting from letting love and romance into your life. You're, you're stalling, you're holding back for fear of being stabbed in the back again. You're letting your thoughts of what has happened hold you back look at the look at this i mean it's just re unbelievable <laughs> it's like i had to beg for love last time i had to beg for it and i don't want to beg for it this time so i feel like you're really scared that that's what's going to happen this reminds me of a beggar every time i see it i hold it up right but it looks like a beggar right it does but it's reversed so i'm feeling like you're like, like i don't want to have to beg for this i really don't um <coughs> So it feels like you guys are coming out of a period of darkness. You are. You're starting to see the light. You're starting to feel better about yourself and where you're going and letting these cycles complete. Cycles have absolutely, there is at least one cycle that has completed that has brought you some relief. Okay, there is some relief here. But I feel like now there's a new opportunity for love with that Ace of Cups that is probably... asking you to take a risk okay to let let it happen but I think that you're stalling you're procrastinating you're you're really like unsure of being in a relationship with anybody at this time because you were left out in the cold by the last one and it feels like you have been betrayed ultimately, but it looks like the storm is over. And, you know, now there has been an actual release. There's been an actual completion of a cycle. Okay, there has. And I feel like now your thoughts are holding you back. Your fears, your thoughts and fears are holding you back. Yeah, there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of faith in love. Lack of belief in love and romance. I mean, we have a Knight of Cups reverse with the Ace of Cups upright in the faith, the Hierophant reverse. Somebody has lost their faith. And they're being called to be objective. Be objective. Look at this through, look at this with a new perspective. Okay? I feel as though you're, you have this fear of being judged. Yeah, look at this freaking A. So you may be dealing with an air sign, and this person could be a soulmate, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and you probably don't know what to do, Taurus. You probably don't know what to do because I feel like you... You're being called to open yourself up to this person, but you you lack the faith and the belief that it's going to turn out good in the end because there's been some hurt from the past. So this is what is going on. I believe that 
you know, there could be some sort of, or there could have been some sort of split from this person in the past. And it feels like now there's a new opportunity here. There is a, and this, so this could be somebody new or this could be somebody from your past. Whatever this is, this is, there's a, you're being called to open yourself up. But I feel like you, you have this fear of being taken advantage of. You do. You have this fear of being taken advantage of from whoever this person is, whether it's a new person or somebody that you've known before. You have this huge fear that this person is all talk. They may be coming at you hot and heavy, very fast, very quickly. And it's too fast for you, too good to be true. Okay, because it's like, I don't, I can't believe this is happening. This is, this is, I have lack of faith because somebody could be coming in too quickly. And you probably have, you do have your guard up. You do have your guard up. But you're being called to... Oh my God. What's happening here is there could definitely be somebody from your past that is coming back that you may have moved on from before or they may have moved on from you, whatever has happened. This person can, can even be somebody that you're just familiar with or somebody from your childhood. Anyway, this right here is telling me that I think someone is moving towards you very, very quickly and you're probably like, Halt. Halt. You know, and then we have the King of Cups reverse. You may want to detach yourself from this situation. You may feel like you can't emotionally offer anything to this person because you're so afraid. You are. You're so afraid. You lack faith and love at this time. So I feel like right now you are still coming out of a period of darkness. You haven't completely healed, even though many of you have, a lot of you haven't. This is coming out of the darkness, starting to see the light again. Uh, the five of pentacles reversed. It's like it's the end of a difficult time. Something has finally been released, and that's a great thing. That's a good thing, right? But you may need to detach yourself from anything new at this time, or you may want to detach yourself because you've been through some major completion in your life. Something has been released that was very dramatic, okay? You've been involved in a dramatic situation where you've always had to have your guard up and you've always had to fight and you've always had to defend yourself and whatever that situation was I believe it's it's now gone you've released it and you're feeling good in your own independence you're doing really good you're feeling good you know but I think that you're working on yourself but you've lost your faith and love for some reason you've lost your ability to let someone in because there's still that paranoia there's still that fear even though this release has happened and you're doing really good there's still the paranoia. There's still the, the feeling of, you know, I don't dare to let you in. You're moving too fast. This, this this can't be true, you know, even though it feels good, you know, even though I like this attention, you know, and I would like to let you in. I really feel like I can't because it just feels like I, I, I can't. I can't let myself be hurt again. And I feel like you definitely do have your guard up and you're afraid to take a risk, but it looks like because of the past betrayal, but it looks like you are being called to take a leap of faith and look at things from a new perspective because the, the, the last one isn't the next one. Do you know what I'm saying? When you truly release, which a lot of you have, you, you have to trust again. And there's a lack of trust here. So I feel like you're probably blocking right now. You're probably blocking any, any new love from coming into your life because you have your guard up. You, you are on the defensive, okay? I feel like with the two of pentacles here right now, you're still lacking some balance, 
okay? Maybe you're just going through some financial turmoil and that's what you're focusing on. You're working on your finances. You may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed and you're scared that you're going to bite off more than you can chew. You're, I think you're blocking this Ace of Cups. You're blocking love from coming in. Even though it's coming in, it's trying to come in. I feel like, yeah, you are. You are. You're blocking love because you're scared of a commitment. And it's not that you don't you want a commitment. That's all you want, right? That's all you want is a commitment. But right now, you're scared to get in a commitment to get your to be betrayed again. I don't. I can't be betrayed again. I can't be stabbed again. So I don't think you've completely healed, even though you're doing really well. <laughs> You know, we all go through phases. I think that right now you're concentrating on your work. You're concentrating on your job this week. You're concentrating on your finances. And you're working hard to overcome some obstacles that have are holding you back still. So you may not be wanting to communicate with anybody in a loving manner because you're just not there. You're not. That's not your focus this week. I think that you are probably feeling detached and less than... Um, emotionally available to a new partner. It's like I'm just, I'm just not there at this time. I feel like this two. I mean, the two of cups is reversed. It's like and the twos are faith and trust. They're both reversed. There's lack of faith and trust here. In what's to come. With the two of cups reversed again, there's a lot of disharmony. Things are unbalanced, and you're working on bringing balance back to your life. That's what's going on this week. I feel like, you know, there's been some kind of separation that you, you know, it's probably made you feel quite liberated, but you haven't let go of the betrayal. And so, you know, you the wheel isn't spinning yet, okay? It's not, there's no, even though there's a lot of completions here, and we have another 10, and they're pretty much, I mean, they're, they're reversed. The only one you got upright is the 10 of swords. You are feeling betrayed. You are feeling hurt. At a complete loss in regards to love. It's like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm liberated, but I'm still at a loss. Okay, and I feel this world, this wheel card reversed is, is things aren't changing. As quickly, you know, the wheel's not spinning in your favor as quickly as you, as you'd like. Okay, I feel as though. You, you can't, you're not ready. You're just not ready. There's like a feeling, there's like a lack of control right now, you know, a lack of being able to control your, your fears. Okay. The paranoia that's going on. You're unable to control the way that you feel right now. You know what I mean? It's like right now I can't start this next chapter of my life because I haven't completely healed from the last one. So I feel like you guys are, are not. You're not totally living in the now because eights are living in the now. We have this one that's reversed. Somebody is still hanging on to the past betrayals in a relationship. So they're unable to start that next chapter because they still have work to do. So I feel like this is a week where you're still working. You're still working. You're still working on taking care of yourself. Standing, standing, standing up for yourself. Doing what's right for you. And you need to restore harmony to your soul. So 
so it feels like there's a there's some kind of loss here that has happened in which yeah that you feel liberated and you're probably feeling a huge relief after this loss you know I think it was meant to be it was I do. I feel like it was meant to be lost because you have something better. You have a new opportunity in love. But I think you're unable to let anybody else in because uh, you're not completely healed where you need to be. So you're probably focusing on yourself, working really hard to bring back the harmony and the peace and the serenity to your soul, to your life. And while you're working on you, you're not probably wanting to communicate with this new potential partner. Yeah, you're working on your inner being. And you don't trust. You've been through a lot. Eventually you will. Eventually you will be able to let someone in. But I think right now, you're following your own path. You're following your intuition. You're, you're using your own silence, your own inner silence to find your own power. I think your intuition is telling you that now is not the time. Now is the time to work on me, you. And I think that you're seeing the situations that are unfolding in your life absolutely clearly because you have a lot of experience <laughs> that you may have gained. I mean, you may have learned a few lessons the hard way. So I feel as though you have gained a lot of experience and now you're taking a step back. You're taking a step back to refocus on your inner being and just follow your own spiritual journey. I think this is probably a pretty quiet week for you where you go within to work on some more healing. so that you can make clear decisions in the future. It's time it's a time of uh, reevaluation. It's a time for you to many of you have, have may be feeling a loss of self. And you may is it's like a week of repression. That's what it looks like to me. But this isn't a bad thing. It's not it's a time of soul searching, Taurus. So that you can regain your inner power. Your inner knowing. Your inner knowing also knows that now is not the time to let somebody in because you're still working out some kinks from the past. This is for April 23rd through April 30th. I do believe that there is probably somebody that is interested in you romantically and you are probably like, this sounds really good. It does and it looks really good, but I am not quite ready. I'm not there. I'm just going to focus on my myself right now and you may not even want to communicate. You may not communicate with this person. You may just be just totally shut them down. Oh, so yeah, you guys are absolutely working on yourselves this week. It's, it's not a week of romance. It's a week of healing. Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that details those carefully woven plans. And that is exactly what's going on. You guys are protecting yourselves from being hurt again. And, so, you know, you have to protect yourself until you're ready. When you're ready to get out of your own way,
there will be no stopping you. But I don't think it's going to be this week. Talk to you later.